now I would like to just talk about some examples where it makes sense to use Power Query. One of the things that these few examples that I'll be talking first are about streamlining tasks. One of the things is if you need to extract information from one file and apply a specific format or layout, for example, the two tables that you see here in blue and in green, they represent the exact same data, but they are just laid out differently. The first one is in tabular form and it's it's the, the format we should have to if we want to analyze data easily and if for example if you want to create some formulas in your spreadsheet to read information from your data if you want to create a pivot table then you should have your data laid out in columns and each column one field in this case we only have two fields name and course reshaping your data uh, to tabular format is one of the first things you should think of when you are looking into analyzing your data in other situations, and this was not with these exact words and information, but the, this reshaping was one of the jobs I had to do a while ago, where a client had a database and they were transferring data from one database to another one, so online platforms. And to upload the data to their new database, that system specifically asked them to have the data shape laid out like this. They had to have the name of their clients in the first column and then all the courses, because this company was selling courses online, all the courses that those clients had registered to on the old platform separated by commas. So in this particular case, I used Power Query to go from tabular layout to a non-tabular layout. Usually it's, it's the opposite in most cases. Both can happen depending on, on what you need, okay? Other situations are if you have data from different sources. For example, if you have data coming in to you in on CSV uh, format and you want to combine with another set of data that is in SharePoint or Access or another, another place or even a, an Excel file that you keep with some records about your clients, for example, and you want to combine the information from those two different sources or three different sources, you can do that with Power Query because Power Query offers you the opportunity to connect to different types of data source. Another situation is if you keep receiving the same report over and over and over, it could be a CSV report, an Excel report, and you need to combine all that information. So imagine you have one separate file for each month with sales, for example, and every month you need to gather everything since the beginning of the year, accumulate the data from the different reports. So every month one new report and put everything in a tabular format, for example, to do some data analysis. Another very interesting situation that happens sometimes is about cleaning data. If you need to work with data that you copied from online or from another program or system. Sometimes they come with all these weird characters, non-printable characters, and you cannot analyze data with that. For example, here, there's Sarah Smith written in all kinds of different ways. And by the way, Power Query is case sensitive. So if you type Sarah, all K, uppercase or lowercase for Power Query, it's two different things. So if you want Power Query to interpret it as the same thing, then you, we have a tool that says make this all uppercase, make this all lowercase. And, and just like that, everything is transformed and you will be able to get a report, for example, like this one here on the right, where you see that the names came in different formats, but you are, were able to gather everything, uh, combine everything into just one format, aggregate all the information. Another important use of Power Query is when you need to merge to combine different sets of data, cross information between them or compare lists. For example, you may have two lists and you may want to know what is in one list that it's not in the other one or what is common to both lists or I have list A and I have with some information about my clients, for example, or your products, and I have list B with another type of information. 
and I want to bring information from second table to first one and then do some kind of aggregation. That's where Power Query is also very useful. And finally, we are not going to explore these today, but the, after you start getting comfortable with Power Query, what you will realize, so if you are new to Power Query, this is probably what will happen. The first few times where you start creating your solutions, you will try to find ways to combine all the information that you need into just one table. For example, you have your sales and then you have your client's information and there's a field there, for example, the country that you need to bring because you want to know how your sales are doing by country. And there's your products and there's some information, for example, the, the price that it's uh, or a code with a description. There's an, on a, another list. The first few times you will try to combine everything into just one table and from there you will be able to build your pivot tables or your reports. After a while, if you keep your curiosity, if you keep exploring, you will realize that you don't need to do that. You don't need to merge everything, merge everything into just one big table. You can keep your table separate and then create relationships between those tables and being able to bring fields from different tables in, into the same pivot table. If you are just trying to understand what Power Query is and this is confusing to you, just don't worry. One, one thing at a time, you will get there.